Yeah, Tov. Moshe Nisimbaum called this, mo- uh, this morning, I was able to let me return the phone call this afternoon, by the following question regarding Shavu HaShachar Let's see, if you have, if you're trying to entertain the children, and it's warm and outside, so you engage in a lot of water activities. And the kids are usually going through a lot of towels, but not only are they going through the towels, the towels are becoming filthy, absolutely soaking and absorbed of mud and schmutz and dirt, all these things. And they're going through, B'liyayin Haram, Mishpacha Beruchat Yiladim, they're going through more towels than they can come up with. They're more than the supply. Between now, it's a long shavu shacharbo, tisha b'av, not until Thursday. So they're going through a ton of towels. Question is, are they allowed to wash the towels and reuse them during shavu shacharbo, tisha b'av? Any thoughts? For the kids. Okay, so Maran writes in the Siman Tav Kuf Nun Alev, now, when it comes to the week of Shavuot Shachar Botisha Ba'av, Sif Dalit over here, Sif Vav, sorry. No, what is that? Give him. Nechabes, to do laundry, even if you don't want to wear it now, you want to only put away the clothing for after Tisha Ba'av, it's Asu. You can't do laundry now for after Tisha Ba'av. Even if you have just one garment, you can't do any laundry. Anything which is freshly laundered from before Shavu Shachar Botisha Ba'av, you're not going to rewash it, but you obviously but you can you can wear it. Ben Lil Bosh, Ben Natsia Bahem Amita. You cannot use freshly laundered linens or sheets. Even hand towels, that would be a simple understanding. Although there's controversy about what Maran means, to use freshly laundered towels or linens, sheets. Manan says is asu. So to wash them and even to use freshly laundered linens, towels, is asu during Tisha B'Av. So it would seem that, sorry, during the week of Tisha B'Av. So it seemed that based on that halacha, that it would be not permitted. The Sefer Kovetz Halachot, he brings a reading that at least amongst the Ashkenazim, and we'll try to get to the halacha for Sfaradim, already from Ashkenazim, he writes, Lon na'agu, lon na'agu li zahir. That the Minhag of Ashkenazim, although of course they go with the halachot of not laundering clothing, even from Rosh Chodesh, not wearing freshly laundered clothing, not uh, doing not doing a laundry, but that doesn't apply in their Minhagim to towels. That doesn't seem to be the Minhag. Now the question is, what do we do? Maran says specifically, the first thing you try to understand what is the basis to be lenient all together and see if it applies to us as well. Ashkenazim are not no hag to be careful with freshly laundered towels. Of course, clothing, they are. So Shmuel Kamenevsky Shalitam, he writes that it would appear that the hand towels try to be melamed zechut. He says if we had to explain the, the leniency that Ashkenazim have when it comes to the towels, maybe it's because the towels are considered excessively soiled. They get extremely dirty. Mitlach lechot tadir, havi kibigdei kitanim. They get so frequently used and so frequently dirty that therefore it would be, it would be permitted mutar to wash them even during the nine days or according to us the Shavosh Chavot Tisha B'Av. What is he referring to? What is this leniency of something which becomes excessively dirty? So again, Rav Shlomo Zaman Orbach amongst the Poskim Ashkenazim, he writes that for been in Israel, they don't really go through disposable hand towels like we do, paper. Instead, the towels are on a roll and it's washable. So that works at home. But what about in a public place? So it's batei kinesiot v'yishivot mutarim nechabes v'lachlif hamagavot petishat ha'yemim. Any place which, which is used by the public, such as a shul or yeshiva, which usually goes all the way up until Tisha B'Av, that the session is, the boys are still studying Torah, so they have the towels on that loop. It's a place where there are so many people using the towels over the course of the day. Therefore, he writes, it's mutar to wash those. You don't have to keep them for nine days. In their, uh, in their minhag of going from Rosh Chodesh. You don't have to keep them on the roll for all nine days. You're allowed to wash them in the middle. So we see that which, something which becomes excessively dirty is allowed, even though, again, Maran says, mitpachot yadayim, hand towels are asur to wash, but the postim already starts saying that if it becomes excessively dirty, like towels which are used, reusable towels are used in public, that's allowed to be washed. Another thing which is earlier, the Yosef Chaim Zornfeld, Zechaz Zedik Tivracham, the Rav Yerushalayim, Adam Gadol Ba'anakim, a giant of a posek and tzaddik, he was asked a question about handkerchiefs. It's around the turn of the century. So people were using handkerchiefs. And they wanted to know, are they allowed to launder their handkerchiefs they used to their nose during the nine days? And he told them, yes, again, the same idea, which becomes excessively dirty. 
Or if it becomes excessively dirty, you're allowed to wash a handkerchief, a hand towel. Dish towels are a little bit more of a question because it's not really something that we need. Nonetheless, there are poskim, which are leaned by dish towels also because it doesn't give me any hanata goof. There's no um, bodily enjoyment when I use a fresh dish towel. When you use a freshly washed towel for your body, for hands, that is enjoyable. That is a, but dish towels, they also make it fine, but that's not so much our inyan. So we see already a basis to be lenient in the post scheme about things which become excessively dirty, the handkerchiefs and the publicly used towels. Nonetheless, Rabshul Kamenetsky says, better to be machmir, better to be machmir when it comes to uh, these types of towels. Why? Because, regular bath towels. Why? Because it's not really comparable to a handkerchief. Handkerchief is really, really, you know, when it needs to be washed, it needs to be washed. It's quite, quite used. Similarly, when it comes to the public towels, that's also much more used. But the question is over here, what, so for adults, no question about it. Based on the simple understanding of Maran, he clearly mentioned hand towels for adults. Even the Ashkenazim would recommend to be machmir that during the week of Tisha B'Av in our custom, a person should not use a freshly laundered uh, bath towel for themselves because that would that would seem to be under the simple understanding of, of Maran. But the question is, what about in our case the Shoel follows Piskei Maran Svarik Halacha? Is there any basis to be lenient for them to be able to keep with the towels? So the truth is, Maran himself does talk about. Later on in the Siman, he says, Adults may not give haircuts, nor may they wash clothing for children. You cannot give haircuts to kids, even though we don't train them in Avelut, and you can't wash their clothing either. The Ramah writes, If it's the kind of clothing they don't have disposable diapers in the days 